Hi everyone, Julie here and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to do something a little bit different. I've got this box which is a reconditioned sewing machine I've bought. It was just cheap. Um, $89 I think it was. So I'm just going to do an unboxing and see what there is and see how it works. So this is literally just delivered five minutes ago. And they put the label on upside down. So of course I've opened it up upside down. So what this is, it's a Sterling, which apparently are made by Janome, and a couple of vouchers here for discount off um, some wine and food, which I'm not interested in. So it's the Sterling Black Edition sewing machine, and going by the description on I bought it through eBay going by the description on eBay it actually comes with loads of extras 24 stitches 7 decorative stitches 750 stitches a minute and 4 step buttonhole so Um, might not be the easiest thing to get out of the box. Should have opened it up the other way, shouldn't I? And just let it drop out. One thing I do like about this, which was one of the reasons. I didn't buy a brother machine that they sell at the post office is because the cheap brother machines come with a CD for instructions rather than a instruction booklet. the foot pedal so that was putting the box upside down so it was the right way up originally okay So what we have here is we have the machine, it's actually got a bit of I'll have to look at the instructions as to how this all works. Ah, that tips up. So there's a little draw thing there, little case that you can open from down here at the side and it comes with doesn't open very well ah it comes off that's why so this bit comes off there's space in there for some bobbins. It comes with needles, an unpicker. I don't know what that is. I don't know what a little brush, Allen key, another bobbin, different foot. So it's got all 
everything there. What I um, will have to have a play with this and then come back, but that's reverse. This is obviously the stitches, buttonhole, which I don't know. It's um, numbered how to thread it. You've got one, two, three. And obviously around and through all this lot so I'm going to pop everything back in here a bit of fabric shows all the stitches what I'm going to do is pop that back there I'll have a look at this instruction manual which as I said I'm glad it's got a manual because it um, It's nothing worse than having one that your manual's on a CD and your computer's obviously normally not right next to your um, sewing machine. So I'm going to have a little read of this and I'll come back and we'll see how it works. Okay, I've had a bit of a read of the instructions and I've had a look at a few things you've got this accessory tray which pulls out that has the accessories in it what I didn't realize is, is that under here is where the bobbin is so it's not a bobbin from the end or from above, it's actually you've got to take this tray out, which is a bit of a, you know, it's not a problem, but I hadn't expected that. I've never had a machine that works that way. And your bobbin's in here. So I've threaded, it already had thread on the bobbin. So I've threaded up the main thread and had a go at just doing a few stitches what I found is a couple of things with it the um, it's got an automatic thread of which I couldn't work out how to use I mean I did and, and didn't but it's easy enough to thread anyhow the um, the put that way the um, up and down for the foot is over here sort of in the opening which is strange I'm used to them either being at the back or somewhere else so what I'm going to do I'm just going to drop that down and just move it over enough that I can the foot thing obviously plugs into the other side, but that's all right. Um, setting A is just a normal straight stitch. And it's working absolutely fine. Stitch B is also a straight stitch and then you've got all your zigzags and everything else but from what I can tell everything's, everything's working I mean it's just it's just a cheap sewing machine 90% of what I need a sewing machine for is actually sewing binding together not actually sewing anything onto a quilt it um needle up. I'm going to be sewing a few more things in the future, but for what I need it for, this is absolutely fine. I'll um I'm going to do a quilt that's going to be machine sewn, but they're only little pieces that are going to be sewn at a time. So 
this will be perfectly fine for sewing those and you know it um, comes with a one year warranty I figured for you know less than a hundred dollars if if it goes wrong it's not a huge amount of money the cost of turn it off the cost of sewing machines has gone absolutely crazy this year with everyone sitting at home making masks and I don't know what else but even well, March April May June July August September October we're now like nine months eight months since the initial lockdown and sewing machines are still like at spotlight they're going out of stock as quick as they come in the cheap one that you used to get at the post office for $135 is now $178 for exactly the same machine and I think it's a, quite an old style brother machine so I thought rather than pay that I'll just give this one a go like I, I looked at a review online and it's made by Janome which is quite a well known brand so I thought for what I need this will be absolutely fine and hopefully it should last a fair while and if not I'll just buy another one obviously something different if this doesn't last but I can't see any reason why it won't last and um, I'll let you know down the track if it does create any problems but I don't see that it will so thanks for watching there'll be more quilting videos coming along shortly you now in the next few weeks um, Please like and subscribe and share and I'll catch you on the next one.